In this video, I'm going to show you a neat little trick that will allow you to tag your min and max data points on your chart with a special formatting, for example, a star. And so you'll see that if I click on each of these people, this special formatting follows the min and max of that person. And it's a really easy trick to do, and it revolves around one simple Excel formula. So let's go ahead and get started. So the data that we're working with here is your standard data set, nothing spectacular, no special formulas. It's basically six sales reps, and they're in a column-oriented fashion, and under each sales rep is going to be the units sold for that rep. And so what I've got to the right here is the beginnings of a table, as you can see. I've got three columns, rep data, max, and min. And together, these three columns are going to make the data source for the chart itself. So for rep data, I'm just going to, let me just copy some sample data here. This is going to be the anchor for my data set. And um, again, some sample data, temporary. And now for the max column. The max column is going to basically show the maximum number of this particular data set. So we're going to have to do a little formula that says, if this particular number, the one next to the max column cell, is the maximum number in the entire data set for rep data, then show it on the max column. If not, leave it blank. We're going to say equals if this number equals the max of all of these numbers together, then give me that number. Else, leave it blank. And leave it blank is represented by two quotes. And hit enter. So now you'll see that the, although there's a formula here, the cell next to 66 is blank. That means that 66 must not be the maximum number in this particular data set. Now I'm going to copy this formula down, but before I do, I'm going to go ahead and set these references for, for the max indicator to absolute. Now if you're not familiar with absolute references, you can just find a bunch of information on it uh, on Google. Just type in Excel absolute references and it'll tell you what that's all about. Alright, and hit enter. So now I can basically copy this formula down and you'll notice that something pops up next to 92. That means that 92 is the maximum number in this particular data set. Now I'm going to do the same thing for min equals if this number equals the min of all of this data set, then give me this number, else leave a blank. And leave a blank again as represented by two quotes, and that's it. Now remember, instead of max, we put min here because we want the minimum, and again, we're going to do the absolute references, and that is represented by dollar signs here. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and then copy this all the way down. And again, it looks like something popped up here under min, which is uh, 18.63, which is next to 19, meaning that 19 must be the minimum value of this data set. So everything looks good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this, and I'm going to close this out. Go back to Excelsius. I'm going to import that model. I'm going to start off with a list box here pop that on there and then I'm going to bring in a combination chart okay so I've got a list box and a combination chart so let's do the list box first I'm going to double click on the list box the labels on the list box I'm going to set that to the names on top of the data set here press OK um, insert option. I'm going to go with columns, but, and I'll explain to you what columns means here in a second, but go to source data. I'm going to pull, select my source data, and then insert in, and I'm going to select my insert in column. Okay, so basically what I'm saying is this. When I select a particular name, I want that column to be moved here. Okay, and that's pretty much set up. So now it's time to set up the combination chart. With the combination chart, just simply highlight the whole thing here. 
that whole table okay and we pretty much got our chart built so what I'm gonna do is a little bit of uh, formatting changes here you'll notice here that our chart has got some weird funky stuff going on I've got rep data which is expected I've got max and min now these things are right it's just the formatting is a little screwy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to appearance tab go to the series uh, sub tab let's move some things around so you can see what's going on the idea here is to format each particular series separately so format the rep data separately from the max and min data so first thing we're going to do is format the rep data now rep data although it's bars right now we want it in a line format so you can simply do that by going to the series marker section and going to the series type and selecting line and you'll notice it automatically changes it to a line and then we can do a custom color on the line that basically says I want it to be kind of a grayish color okay so that's good and line color is the actual lines here okay so you have grayish color marker actual lines now we want to go ahead and format the max data series so select from the series go to max line color I want the line color to be white here I don't want it to have a line but I do like the marker and I want to keep the marker but I'm going to keep it as green since it's the max. Okay, and let's make this one a, a, a star. Perfect. Now let's do the min. The min, I'm going to change this to a line because I don't like it being a column. And line color, I want the line color to be white, but I do want the marker to be red. Okay, so we're almost there. Show highlights that sounds good and that is pretty much it now it's just a question of positioning and sizing and let's test it out I'm going to push print preview or preview and then uh, as we select each name your chart changes